YouTube, I'm going to demonstrate a primitive torch, if it works. Uh, what I'm collecting is all these little woody weeds. They're just little thin stuff that really burn good. Get a big, get a pretty good sized bundle, about twice this big. Gather them up in no time. And one of these bundles probably lasts. 15 minutes to a half hour of light, sometimes even more. Let me get a few and then I'll demonstrate. Okay, okay I found me some stringy bark to tie it in a bundle. That's good enough. And we got a pretty good bundle there. Huh. Take these off. They need a bird's nest. This ain't a real bird's nest, so no eggs were harmed in this video. And I want to come off down there, but that's okay. Usually need about two pieces of cordage or something to hold it in a bundle. Yeah, I'll just hold it this time. It'll be fine. And for time's sake, in these, I'm going to use a big lighter. Everything's kind of damp, so let me take a minute. Yeah, it may not even burn right. You may not even see this video. Okay. And what gave me the idea for this? Well, I've seen a little bit on how they made torches, but. What inspired me to try it was we went through a tour cave. I think it was an Onondaga cave in southern Missouri. And I seen these bundles of burnt sticks laying on the cave floor. And when I asked the tour guide, I said, those are torches, aren't they, from somebody coming in here. And they said, well, yeah. He said, we think those are from what the Indians had. Let's see if you have it tighter or looser. And you can adjust it by moving that band up and down. And this one's, everything's damp, so it's not really going too good. But anyway... If you get good dry sticks and uh, get them lit and get them bundled together right. Now you don't want to do this across a grassy field or in the woods or anything because it will start fires. But like going in a cave, if you had a couple bundles of these and a, I'd have a good source of ignition too. Or I went in a cave like this. But that's how the Indians would explore the caves around here. They'd take you know, just a bundle of dry material. And I forget what these weeds are called, but they're just real straight and they're dry and small and they really burn. This is also a good way to start your campfire. Because once you get this lit, it's going to stay lit. 
See how that stays lit? In fact, sometimes it's hard to put out. That's no, not kerosene. It's not any kind of fuel other than what Mother Nature gives you. It's hard to put out. And see, you can kind of adjust your flame a little bit by tightening it or moving that up and down. But before you go in a cave, make sure you've got good dry weeds. <laughs> What do you think about that? And just remember all these embers dropping on the ground. You see the embers? Everywhere you go, that's going to start a fire if you're out in a grassy field or in the woods with le dry leaves. So you got to be really careful, especially when you're in an area where there you could start a forest fire so okay youtube don't forget to like subscribe and share all right have a good day and god bless hey youtube i just wanted to show you i watched filmed it watched the film went back decided to record it it's still burning you know, it's been burning probably about 15 or 20 minutes. It's getting low, though. But still, you know, I got, I got a good foot left. It's pretty hot to hang on to. But see, when you spread it out more, it burns better. Gets air in between there. But, yeah, just take another bundle and light it up. With, with your old one and throw them down and go till you you run out of bundles and then you better start heading out of the cave because it gets dark <laughs> okay well I'm gonna put it out but it'll probably burn you know 35 or 40 minutes to give you good light because I can pretty much see everything around me to walk and everything. Just don't want to get in any water. Alright. Have a good day, YouTube.